Good afternoon. What a beautiful start to the work week. Or if you're off, why not head out to the KSN summer road trip? It has been a morning and a wonderful morning. We are live here in the McPherson area out toward the water park. And I'm joined with Austin. And Austin, it's a little too cool to swim, isn't it? Yeah. Why is that? I mean, are you going to try to get into that swimming hole here in a little bit? Yeah. He's going to. He absolutely is. Because temperatures are going to be warming up. We're just starting to warm up, aren't we? Yeah. Let's take a look at what we have in downtown Wichita. And the KSN summer road trip is underway. Day one off to a great start. We have Jeff Herndon, Julia Thatcher, Eddie Randall, and Alexis Padilla live in my wife's hometown, the home of basketball champions, McPherson. Hey guys. Tell you what, Jason, you nailed it. What a wonderful start so far to the big KSN summer road trip. We are just, what, four or five hours underway, uh -huh. and it has not disappointed, guys. It's wild. We've been counting down this day since last year's summer road trip, yeah. and so to say we're finally here, we're feeling a lot of energy and a lot of love already from our two stops. Yeah, yeah. the first stop we have to say, we kept telling them, you guys set the bar extremely mm -hmm. high. It can only go up from here, though. Yeah, it's great. I felt spoiled. This is my first time being on the road trip, but Marion welcomed us so much. And McPherson's been a blast so far. Uh -huh. After filling our belly bellies, we came here to McPherson, city and county named after Civil War Officer General James Birdseye McPherson. He actually never set foot in Kansas. So why was the city and can uh, county named after him? Well, here it is. It's custom for veterans' names to be placed after their generals. And we are back out here live now at the water park. Uh, what a phenomenal facility this is just behind us here. Now, it opened up early offering free admission. That free admission goes until 1 o'clock this afternoon here at the McPherson Water Park. Families can also sign up to win a family water park pass. A lot going on out here today. And continuing on that free trend, Dairy Queen is actually out here also offering free ice cream. Uh, we got a lot of food in Marion, so that's continuing out here in McPherson. Yep. And uh, Alexis, you said it. I think it's spot on. We're feeling so much love. The The fire department let us crawl into the truck. That, that was, was very cool. cool. So, uh, uh, a lot of laughter and maybe a little, uh, we're trying to stay out of trouble, I'll say that. <laughs> I really want to go in the Lazy River. I've heard good things. I know we don't have time, but people that can come over here, mm -hmm. check that out. You know, we got to take it easy on the snacks, though. I mean, I've had a snack at every, I've had a couple of snacks, and I, I keep saying if I keep. Welcome back. We definitely look forward to the KSN summer road trip every year because we get to meet you. You have been so welcoming to us in your communities this morning in Marion. Now we're here in McPherson, and look at the crowd that has joined us. We have the fire department here for McPherson, but also I have Belle and I have Brooke. Of course, you can tell that they're sisters. And, and Belle, are you having a fun time today? Yeah, she definitely is. And we have Madison over here. And, uh, and, and is that your daddy? Is that your dad? Yeah. Well, Caden, tell me a little bit about what you guys have here outside the water park. And, and by the way, thank you guys so much for everything that you do for us as firefighters. Yeah, so the first truck here is what we call engine one that is our main response here in the city for fires or anything like that and behind it is ladder one um, that's just commercial buildings and stuff like that it allows us to get a high water stream or onto the roof of something so all right well like i said thank you guys so much for everything that you do to help to keep us safe and uh i'll tell you what i think uh oh, i think bell has the right idea definitely wearing the shirt the short sleeves or that sleeveless shirt and enjoying some of that nat natural ac today uh, but when we talk about temperatures that are warming up if we were to look back at a few years ago none of us will forget february of 2021 i bring in want to bring in meteorologist ronnell williams and the reason we bring that up is because mcpherson had an important part in that cold snap that we had back in 2021. Yeah, that's right. There were multiple hours where not only McPherson, but the state of Kansas, multiple states below freezing temperatures for so much of a time. Mm -hmm. And there were actually mandatory blackouts that were going on across the region. Fortunately, though, McPherson didn't have to do that because of the infrastructure here. They were able to avoid that, and they were one of the few cities and towns, you know, not only in the state, again, across the entire region, mm -hmm. that didn't have to do that because of that. But, you know, Lisa, I know we're talking about <laughs> below freezing temperatures. We're coming up on uh, summer here in a couple of weeks. And, um, you know, we were just talking about the long range models and it's, it's not too bad out here right now, but no, uh -uh. things are going to heat up here pretty soon. It is going to be a drastic change one week from today. Many more temperatures will be back into the 90s, yeah. if not the triple digits. And even though storm trackers reporting the lower 70s, you already found ice cream for the day. If there's food, Ron L is drawn to it. 
like a moth to a flame. That's for sure. Second let's one. let's go ahead and take a look at the forecast. If you Welcome back to McPherson, the KSN Summer Road Trip live from the McPherson Water Park. It is beautiful. It Playing their day off from school, they're going down that massive water slide and they're relaxing. hot summer days. McPherson has so much to offer. One of those places, the Opera House. Take a look at this video right here. It's actually about a mile from where we're standing right now. Built in 1818, it was one of the first in the country with electricity. Opening night, get this, all 900 seats were sold. Pretty impressive for a town less than 2,500. In 1925, the Opera House turned into a movie theater. Now let's fast forward to the 80s. It was set to be demolished, but it was saved thanks to the McPherson Opera House Preservation Company. A lot of work went into renovating what you now see today. But it was worthwhile. We are an anchor for our community. We we bring in tourists. We offer so many entertainment, art, culture, different things, mm -hmm. and education for people within our community. So it was very important to have this place here, this facility. And the Opera House is run by all volunteers. It's not a nonprofit, so donations and memberships keep it going. Moving on, more than 800 students go to McPherson College. It is home to a world-renowned auto restoration program. This year, a 1953 Mercedes-Benz 300 S Cabriolet fully restored by students will be shown in our nation's most prestigious car event in Pebble Beach. This car was very, very original. So part of being a hand-built car, every part, so every piece of woodwork, every piece of trim, the chrome trim, on this car, the leather was made for this car and it is actually numbered 39A on this and almost every single piece was original. So we were able to track those pieces that they were born with this car. Comedian and car enthusiast Jay Leno, a huge part of McPherson College's success. Not only has he donated to the program, he sponsors two scholarships. So cool. And moving west to McPherson County, home of the Maxwell Wildlife Refuge. It is 2,600 acres of serene prairie. It is another world out here. It is. It is so peaceful, and um, you feel like you're 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 just in. You're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> peaceful, serene. Those are good ways to describe it. The nonprofit Friends of Maxwell works with the Department of Wildlife and Parks to run the park, and you can tour it on board of a covered wagon and see 200 bison and Rocky Mountain elk. The refuge does butt up to the McPherson State Fishing Lake. It's a good lake. They got some fish in that lake. Yeah, some, some good fish. In. Hey, it is something to see. Now, our next stop, Mac Town. Talking about McPherson here. We broadcast KSN News at noon from the McPherson Water Park. A uh, little, little chilly for a swim for some people. Surprisingly for yeah. June. Yeah, for June. Uh, but the kiddos still put on the swimsuits, took advantage of free admission today at the water park. And we, we met with several firefighters, Julie, who came out to say hello. They did. They let me yes. crawl into the bucket. That was a highlight for me and McPherson. After when you do come down, <laughs> hey, snap a photo. This is a cool deal here. Uh, submit that photo on our website to be entered to win a road trip prize pack from Shields, five, uh, $50 Shields gift card, $100 gas card. You got a cooler, you got tumblers, you got snacks. It is everything you need when you hit the road. Very excited. Can't wait. I think my favorite part was hearing uh, Jeff say, Lake! <laughs> <laughs> All right, more from the road trip. We'll be right back.